ways that can help you decide what to wear, you can ask yourself questions and depending on your response, that can help you to determine what your conscience is, <laughs> is, is saying for you. So let's say you're a lady, you know, you're going to a store, you're thinking of buying an outfit, and you say, well, I don't know whether or not this is right to buy or not. Well, here are some questions, right? You can say here, I'll just read them all out. You know, is this the right, is it, is this the right thing to do? You can ask first of all. Is it, is it even right for me to, to buy this um, outfit? Um, you know, and that might be a question of, well, oh, does my husband want me to spend this money on clothes? Do I have enough clothes? You know, is this the best way to spend my money? Am I putting God first? Am I doing my best? Am I considering the needs and shortcoming of, shortcomings of others? You know, if I look at this skirt and I look at it and I say, hey, well, this is probably going to draw attention to my body. This is probably going to draw attention to my breast. You know, men are probably going to lust after me if I put on this outfit. Can you in good conscience say this is the best outfit to wear? You know, or would you be in sin buying that outfit and putting it on? Um, you know, will what I do encourage another to do right or wrong? You know, if I, if I wear this thing. And, and obviously these principles can apply to many areas of doubtful disputation. Uh, will what I do cause another to stumble? You know, and I'm not saying that you know, we just put ourselves in a bubble because obviously people can stumble even if we don't intend them to. But we need to consider these things. Will another person lust after me or be made weak because of what I do? Questions around modesty. You know, am I trying to make myself beautiful only by the outward appearance? Or am I striving to make myself beautiful uh, from the inward appearance? Am I drawing attention to myself? Is the purpose of my clothes to draw attention? Or am I just trying to clothe myself in modest apparel? Are my clothes designed to draw attention to the sensual parts of my body, whether it's my buttocks, my groin, my, my, my breasts? Um, you know, when, it when we talk about revealing our nakedness, is this a good reason to reveal my shame to another person? You might ask yourself, well, I need to reveal my shame to another person. Is this a good reason to? You know, it might be for medical reasons. It might be for, for educational reasons or things like that. Um, I don't know whether there's a right or wrong answer. Like, in my opinion, like, if you reveal yourself for art, to me, that's not a good reason. You know, to me, that's, but that's, that's my opinion. I, I don't know whether I could dogmatically say it's the wrong thing to do. Um, you can ask yourself, hey, would I like my son or my daughter to be dressed like this and if you have some doubts there you might think well I shouldn't be wearing this if I don't even want my own children dressing like this um, do I look like a prostitute you know people might say well the Bible says the the, the the attire of a harlot but what is the attire of a harlot well does the Bible need to define that I mean if you go into a clothing store and you see an outfit and you think a prostitute probably wears that that's the attire of a harlot you know, so you can ask yourself, do I look like a prostitute? Like if I was dressed for, for a special event, for a wedding, for a party, and, I, and somebody was to put a picture of my Facebook picture next to a picture of a prostitute, would they be able to tell the difference? Or does it look the same? If it looks the same, then you're dressed like a prostitute, in my opinion. Um, would I want my son or daughter to be dressed like this? Would, would my father or husband approve of this? You know, you might put something on it and you might think, you know what, if my dad saw me wearing this, he would not want me to wear this. If my husband saw me wearing this, I would not want, he, I, I, uh, he would not want me, uh, he would not be happy with me wearing this. Um, are my clothes overly expensive? Do my clothes give the impression of immoderation to other people? Is my hairstyle overly extravagant? Is my makeup over the top? Is my nakedness covered and concealed enough? If, if you don't think it is, then you're sinning against your own conscience. Uh, what about questions of gender. Am I trying to be as feminine or masculine as possible or am I trying to just toe that line? Do I look my gender? You know, do people get confused? When they look at me, do, do they sometimes confuse me as a man until I turn around and then, then they, oh, you're, you're a woman. You know, if, if you're getting that sort of response, you know, that ought to affect your conscience and, and say, well, you know, maybe my line is, is not far enough in one direction. Um, you might ask, you know, is this clothing that I'm wearing, is it male clothing, is it female clothing, or is it unisex clothing to determine, hey, am I being an abomination? So these are the ways, this is how I determine um, what a man's clothing, what a woman's clothing, how I apply these principles. So I'm hoping, just as you see how I get these principles from the Bible, how I apply them in my life, 